Mark, Matthew, and Luke. So as, as Mark was giving us account of this story, you would realize that some things may differ from Matthew and Luke. And the reason why I chose to take the text of Mark is because Mark actually discussed this event with 22 verses. 22 verses. So Mark chapter 5 verses 21 through 43. If you want to say amen. amen. Oh boy, there we go. So the leaders in the synagogue at this time, they were anti-Jesus because he would disregard their Sabbath. All right, so what I'm trying to get to you is that the leader of the synagogue went and approached Jesus. He knelt and kneeled down before Jesus and he pleaded, Jesus, come over to my house. Now keep in mind, this was the leader of the synagogue. At this time, he would be considered as a Pharisee, which means that him, he, he, he wasn't in the position to go to Jesus because Jesus would always disregard the Sabbath. He would heal the lame on the Sabbath. He would do all these things that he didn't approve of. So they hated Jesus. But for this man to know that there was someone who was greater than him, he must have had a little bit of hope left somewhere. He must have had a little bit of faith left somewhere. I'm glad to know that this man acknowledged that there was a power greater than him. He understood that Jesus was the man with the plan because Jesus walked the earth. Yes, he's seen the human nature of Jesus, but this was the only man who could have brought him out of a situation at the time. Mm -hmm. So how many of you need Jesus today? Mm -hmm. How many of you can say that we are in a place where I'm going to kneel down and cry out, Lord, please help me? He went to Jesus with a situation, but a 